Hey, what's up? Andrew Kramer here, videocopilot.net, and welcome to another very exciting training DVD. And uh, we're gonna have a lot of fun. What we're gonna be doing is taking a look at a shot and talking about the best way to go about completing a shot like this in a production environment. The most important thing you wanna think about is being organized, being quick, and ultimately being good. Because if you don't have all those things together, then you know, what's the point? Okay, so I know you're serious about doing this right. So let's talk about organizing our project and organizing our assets so that we can keep track of things that we get, things that we have, and things that are going out like rendered files, etc. Now, usually in a workflow where you're using compositing and 3D, you're usually working with a 3D department and then you're working with, you know, a compositing department and we're going to kind of take it from the perspective of doing all of those things, but it's important to understand that you want each of these steps to be self-contained so that say you get jammed up on a project, you need to hire someone to come work with you. Well, that person can focus on one part of a job or one shot and it just ultimately makes things better you know you don't want to be saving everything to your desktop it's a mess we don't want to get into that so here's what we're gonna be creating this is a great shot of Sam Loya firing a gun very exciting we're incorporating a 3d camera move now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, kill the suspense right now the basic idea of this effect is we take a still shot, okay, a locked off shot of Sam, and then we pan around the room after the shot's done, and we get still frames of our environment. And then in 3D, we animate a camera following a bullet, and that is the camera that we're ultimately using inside of After Effects, and that's why everything stays perfectly together and the shot uh, looks so cohesive. Now, back to organizing. I've actually simplified our structure so we can just, you know, do this with any project that we want. This After Effects project is called Shot 0001. And what that means is I'm doing, say I'm doing a show, I'm doing a movie, and it's called uh, The Bullet Part 2, Army Ninja's Return uh, from the Dead. And it's a, it's a B movie, actually, obviously. Now, there's not very many visual effects shots, but say there's a, a dozen or so. Well... We organize individual After Effects projects with shot 01, shot 02, shot 03, etc. And then inside of each of our projects, we have a folder called shot 001. And that way, if we ever need to compile our shots together, we can import the After Effects project into another project, and then we don't just get a bunch of files that are all over the place. Although After Effects does do a nice job of bringing it in, doing it this way will let you organize your assets that are specific to any one shot. So let's take a look at how I have it set up here. So shot one, we have a folder called assets and we have comps. Assets are more like things from outside of After Effects, things that we're importing, things that we're using as part of our project. Comps are the compositions in which we create in After Effects. Now, so for example, we have a 3D folder and that's where we're going to import our 3D data, our 3D renders, our 3D layers, anything that we're going to come out of a 3D program. And we call it 3D because that way, all right, where's that shot? We know it's 3D. Bam, we can start looking for it in here instead of, you know, all over the place trying to search for it. And you don't remember what it's called. Not a good idea. We have audio files, sound effects, music. We can stick them all in there. Footage. Now, the footage can also include reference material. So... This shot is actually more like a reference shot for us. So you can have storyboards or a quick animatic, um, any kind of reference for your final composite. You can put them in the footage folder, and that way uh, you know you can time things up or do whatever you need. And then images, obviously, uh, just still 2D art, anything that you want to kind of organize into there. And depending on what you do, you can set up another folder for uh, you know specific things. Um, you want this to be tailored to you, but at the same time, you want to maintain the discipline to do this on every project, big or small, because ultimately it's going to save you time if you're not searching for files and you know, you're know you going to be pulling your hair out and you're going to turn 27 and you're not going to have any hair and everyone is going to leave you and you're going to be left alone and you'll be so lost in a mess of, of files that you'll ultimately just delete your hard drive. And by that I mean commit suicide. Metaphorically, of course. 
Now, the other thing I'll talk about is actually preparing for a shot like this. So you're not only the visual effects supervisor and the compositor, the film editor, sound guy, but you're also the on-set supervisor for doing this shot. So when you're doing a shot like this, it's pretty simple because you're doing most of the work in post. But the things you want to think about in this particular shot is that the camera is going to be locked off, you know, eye level or so, and you want the gun to be pointed just to the right side of the camera because you really want that bullet to fly right by the camera. In order to do that, you need to be able to set the shot up correctly. So, you know, it's always smart to do it a couple of different ways, do a couple of different takes, so make sure you have uh, what you need. Now, we shot 60 frames per second, so if I go here, take a look at our footage. We have a shot of Sam holding the gun, and uh, open that up. It's the raw footage here. And you can see we rack focus on the gun and uh, he pretends to shoot it. So we have a couple of different takes and this was the best one as far as the angle and the focus and everything just looked good. He looked pretty intense if you remember. It's right after he got spooked by a trash can lid falling. I mean, you know, it would have scared anybody. But uh, it scared him, which makes it even funnier. So when you're on set, you know, you always want to be thinking about post-production, whether or not you're doing it or not. You want to be able to have what you need, have reference points if you're doing tracking. I gotta tell you, if you ever have points on a person's forehead for tracking something on there, it's a lot easier to take points off sometimes than it is to, you know, figure out where to track on someone's head, you know, to put a fake squib or, or whatever. So uh, this introduction is more just a way uh, to waste time and uh, hear myself talk. And uh, I think I've uh, heard just about enough. And I'm sure you have. And you're probably shutting this off and throwing it in the trash or putting it on eBay. Um, well, I'm going to buy them all back and, you know, sell them again. Um, you also want to maintain a structure like this inside your actual hard drive. So if we take a look at my hard drive, I have my Bullet Project. So that's the show's name. You know, it's called The Bullet. Um, remember the Army Ninjas from the Dead? And we go ahead and open this up. And here's our footage, images, project files. We have 3D and After Effects project files. We have rendered elements, 2D, 3D. Keep it separated, that way you will not go crazy. Images, um, this also includes 3D materials, reference photos. Um, we have some photos of the bullet and uh, things like that. So it's good to keep it all organized um, and that way you can you know, burn this whole folder onto a disk and send it off to somebody else to get it done because you just got tired of it and you just want out of the business and so you're actually going to start like a computer repair shop and uh, deal with other people's problems and go through their images and stuff so you know it's up to you but you know frankly if you bought this DVD I think you're interested in visual effects and I want to show you some awesome stuff okay so let's go ahead and set up our footage and get ready for a good workflow and a good pipeline for getting visual effects done fast and on time and on budget <laughs> 